good evening ladies and gentlemen and i am back here again with another novel its name is the best man to die by ruth randall uh, again it's a detective novel uh, it's it's an amazing novel amazing novel i must tell you there is a difference very minute difference between a writer and a skilled writer i would say everyone forms stories uh, if you take uh, different stories like agatha christie james patterson all the stories will be uh, having more of twists and turns and it will be more intriguing to make the readers uh, make interested about uh, what's going on in the story and uh, to, to make them occupied but 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 definitely this ladies and gentlemen is definitely a skilled writer's novel from from right from the starting to end each word and the sentences how she used it amazing amazing uh, i i definitely recommend for all the kids just keep on reading this novel again and again to learn to improvise your vocabulary uh, and learn different uh, to polish your language skills coming to the plot uh, it's, it's a it's a plain and simple uh, in the starting you will have two threads running parallelly the first one uh, yes um, there will be an accident uh, where a jaguar car will be going uh, at, a, at a nice speed and suddenly it starts rolling over and the people inside uh, uh, wife and husband will be traveling uh, it's mr and mrs fan shaw uh, so the the husband dies and the wife gets admitted in hospital the next day morning she will have a skull injury and she doesn't remember anything she she thinks that uh, her uh, um, daughter is uh, staying in germany but as per the police records they'll find a body in the accident and uh, the aunt will come and identify that it's a body of uh, uh, her daughter itself so uh, she she tries to uh, convince the hospital staff to write a letter to her daughter to to inform her that she is in hospital and all the stuff but they don't believe her because maybe uh, they'll be thinking she is unstable um uh, because of this memory loss or something like that but suddenly after a week uh, the her daughter nora fanshaw will appear in the hospital uh, that that will be a great twist and from then the the story goes different that is one one thread altogether the other thread is there will be a two friends uh, it's uh, jack and charlie uh, jack will be uh, throwing off a bachelor party just before uh, his wedding night uh, on the day of his wedding charlie's body will be found on a side of a river the our uh, inspector wexford will find it in some uh, drum or something like that Uh, from then uh, he he stops his marriage and uh, he because they both are best buddies and then the investigation goes on but at the end uh, these both threads will collide and uh, it will be very nice to read actually i recommend definitely there is no foul language used and definitely the vocabulary is i'll tell you uh, my friends um generally what we will say for a for a quarrel between a wife and a husband you know say like the husband and wife are traveling and they were having a, a quarrel like that right but 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 uh, you know what the words used are row uh, the husband were having a row with wife uh, has uh, even um, the the um, marlin hatton started sobbing pasture land tiptoeing different words my friend i don't say that we don't know these words but we often use it we we uh we, we don't use it much actually so uh definitely a uh, gentleman ladies and gentlemen please read this novel uh, uh and uh, i'll come back with another novel next time and goodbye